Yeah, good morning, friends. Today we are discussing about uh, what is the main difference between Microsoft Visual Studio Editor and .NET Framework. Because there is a lot of confusion in the uh, developers and that what is exactly the main difference between Visual Studio Editor and uh, .NET Framework. Actually, Visual Studio Editor is a development environment which is used to develop different types of applications in .NET. If you want to develop any type of applications like a console application or Windows applications or web applications or if you want to work with MVC or if you want to work with the WCF for web services or if you want to work with WPF if you want to develop any type of applications in .NET, Microsoft has given a beautiful environment which is called as Microsoft Visual Studio Editor. So I can always call Microsoft Visual Studio Editor is a development environment. Development environment which is used to develop different types of applications in .NET. Like uh, you can develop different types of applications like console applications. And similarly, you can develop uh, Windows applications. And similarly, you can develop uh, web applications. And different types of applications you can develop, like web services. Similarly, you can develop uh, uh, WPF based applications. Or you can develop uh, WCF based applications. Or even you can develop MVC. So these are different types of applications that what we can develop with the help of uh, Visual Studio Editor. So what is .NET Framework? .NET Framework is a runtime environment. .NET Framework is a runtime environment which is used to execute the programs that you have developed by using Visual Studio Editor. Means whatever the programs that you have developed, what are the applications that you have developed with the help of Visual Studio Editor. In order to execute that particular applications, you have to install the .NET Framework. So I am calling .NET Framework as a runtime environment. For example, if you want to write the program and then you have to save the program, then you have to compile the program, then you have to execute the program. In order to execute the program, for example, I had developed one program in csharp.net, some console application. In order to write the program, I will try to use some Visual Studio Editor, it is an environment. But in order to execute that particular program, it is mandatory that you have to install what? .NET Framework. So I am telling that .NET Framework is a runtime environment which is used to execute the program. Whereas Visual Studio Editor is a development environment which is used to develop different types of applications in .NET. So there are different versions that are available like um, .NET Framework, .NET 1.0 which means that .NET Framework which was released in the year 2000 and similarly parallelly Microsoft has released Microsoft Visual Studio 2000. So always .NET Framework was mentioned with the help of version numbers and visual Studio Editor was mentioned in the help of release year. .NET 1.1 which was released in the year 2003. Similarly .NET 2.0 which was released in the year 2005 and uh, similarly .NET 3.5 .NET 3.5 which was released in the year 2008 and uh, similarly .NET 4.0 which was released in the year 2010 and uh, similarly .NET 4.5 which was released in the year 2012 so if you observe clearly here always the .NET framework versions these all are .NET framework the .NET framework versions can be uh, identified by using version numbers whereas Visual Studio Editor was identified by using the release years that is the main difference. So the conclusion I want to give is 
This virtual Studio Editor is used for development environment, which is used to develop different types of applications in .NET. Similarly, .NET Framework is a runtime environment, which is used to execute the applications that was developed with the help of Visual Studio Editor. So this is uh, the d a small demonstration by Mr. B. Kannababu. So um, if you want to uh, any more updates regarding .NET or anything, you can log into my Facebook group www.facebook.com slash groups slash world of dot thank you i'm signing off